and she said she needed some help at her home with cleaning up, so I'm gonna help her out. I told her, just give me a call. I gave her my number and all my... What's going on, everybody? <laughs> I'm just yelling, ain't I? I'm sorry about that. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We're here on the Clean the City Inc. nonprofit organization channel in Florida. If you're new to the channel, let me just let you know. My name is AP. I have a nonprofit organization in Fort Pierce, Port St. Lucie, Treasure Coast, Indian River County, Florida. And I get out in my communities and I just try to help people with their overgrown grass. If I can find somebody to help, I will help them. If I can't, I just clean the city, period. So that's what we do here on this channel. We just get out in our community and we clean up the community. A lot of times this tall grass here in Florida is homes for large style bearded dragons, iguanas. Um, it's just a wasteland to collect trash. We don't like that. We want our communities to be clean because it's beautiful here in Florida. But when you're in beautiful communities that have potential and you know they do, and you just see trash floating around and things like that, it's not good to see. So it's my duty to get out here and keep our communities as clean as I possibly can. It, I can't do it alone, but I'm doing my part, you know? So when I went on the other side of that graveyard to find my Uncle Anthony and I saw the number to the, the place on the building and things like that, and I called the lady to get information and help, I was on the complete other side of that graveyard and I saw a home with tall grass and I could not believe how tall the grass was. It's not the tallest grass I've cut. Last video was, I think. <laughs> but this, this grass was really tall too and it needs to be cut. I'm not sure why it's so tall or who let it get so tall, but we're gonna go check on them. It looked abandoned, but we're gonna knock on the door just to make sure, okay? Because I did see a car outside the house, but I was just there and gone. I, I didn't stay to, you know, spectate and to look around. I just saw that tall grass and I said, okay, Aramis, remember there's a house near the graveyard by US1, go check on those folks. If there's people there, cut it for them. If not, we're gonna still hop in the yard and cut it today, all right? So let's get out of here and let's go see what we have. We're gonna stop by Wawa first to get my smoothie. Late in the day today, it's actually almost two o'clock. So we'll be arriving to this uh, home at around 2.30. We're gonna, you know, take a look at what we have, take a look at the yard to make sure it's one we're gonna do today. And then we'll make that decision once we get there, all right? So thank y'all for joining me for this premiere. Let's get on out of here and let's get to work, all right? Let's go. Oh, it's about to snap. I thought that they ain't giving me this Just ain't got the Chick-fil-A lemonade. Think like, what good is it for us to cut yards if we're just gonna cut it and in Florida, the next week it's gonna be just as tall as it was when we cut it, so. With my nonprofit organization, I'm truly out here trying to keep the community safe and clean, y'all. I don't know if y'all realize or believe me when I say that, but it's the truth. I'm really trying to keep these properties in my town safe and clean. And it's not about showing up one time to cut it because it's going to grow right back. What happens then? Do we just show up and, and make, make the yard look good for a few days and then the next week it's rough again? That defeats the purpose of really doing it, I think. So um, I'm going to choose properties like this and I'm gonna maintain the yard. And if we can find so somebody within the subscriber base that knows how I can actually invest in these properties, then somebody asked me that too. That's why I'm mentioning that somebody in the comments mentioned that I should start trying to invest in these and help people out in the community with housing. I'm down for that, y'all. If y'all can help me build this channel, listen, this is all of us together making this channel go, okay? If y'all can help me make this channel big, AP will not only cut these yards of these abandoned homes, but AP will look into how to obtain these homes so that I can help folks in the community that are less fortunate. Whether they're homeless or just really need help, we can try to make this happen. Now, I'm not gonna put that on my plate. I'm gonna find the right person that can do it. But AP don't mind investing in these homes when I can afford to to be able to help people in the community. I'm I'm all down for that. Somebody mentioned that, I'm really down to do that, to help out my community. 
So let me know how y'all feel about that. If it's a subscriber out there that can really help me learn about investing into properties like this, they're going for very cheap. Do they need a lot of work? Yeah, but it's an investment. And if I can, you know, gain enough money from the monetizing of this channel, we're gonna make people's lives in my community better. We're gonna help people out through blessing them with, you know, having a roof over their head and food to eat. We're gonna do what we can with this channel to better the community, yo. I'm not here to play games with you. I'm not here to joke. I'm not here to say things that sound cool and not carry through. Y'all know I'm a man of my word. So if we can all come together on this Clean the City Inc. nonprofit organization channel, we might be able to change the world. One day at a time, let's take it, you know. We're, we're taking baby steps, but it's possible for us to actually start obtaining these homes fixing them up and housing people that truly need it all right it's crazy that he was right here like i still can't believe that like i still can't believe that that's crazy he wasn't too far i think he around here somewhere right yeah he right here he right here what's up uncle anthony Jeez, man we gotta fix you on up my subscribers they keep mentioning it but we're gonna do it we're gonna do it uncle anthony don't worry about it i'm gonna take care of it man we gotta edge you on up you got some rough edges on you some overgrown edges we're gonna edge you up real nice we might even put uh, a little fence around your own um, your grave man we're gonna fix it up nice for you though i'm just happy i was able to find find it man all right, man, just watch over me while I work on this property, Uncle Anthony, all right? I'll be back to see you soon. You hold tight for me and the subscribers and we'll come clean you up, all right? Love you, man. See that, we gotta go uphill. Now you see this house? Oh my God, it's like a mansion. That's the house right there. Oh, it's a big one. It might take us a long time to do this one, but it's a car outside. It looks abandoned. Wow. This is a big one, y'all, but I think we can do it. Let's step out. Look how nice they keep this cemetery, y'all. Sir? Sir? How you doing? Look at it. We got the lawn man right over here. You maintain the property out here? Yeah. Hey, man. How you doing? Awesome. My name is AP. What's your name? Juan? Juan. Juan, man. Shout out to you for maintaining the property out here and keeping it cut, man. We truly appreciate it. I have a nonprofit organization where I go around the town and I help out elderly, sick, and disabled people with their tall grass. There you go. Yeah. And, um, you know, they can't afford it. They're living on fixed income and the city is starting to hound them for the tall grass. They take them to court and everything. So I just go out and I make it my duty to help people out. But I'm about to do this property right here that has tall grass yeah. around it. I'm going to go ahead and cut that. But I just wanted to come and say thank you for doing your job, oh, man. No, thank you. Like, thank, thank you, you so much. We like I know these people that have lost loved ones out here. I know they truly appreciate the job that you do. Thank you. You have a good day, okay? Right, Be you. safe. Stay cool, all right? It's hot out here, all man. Right. <laughs> all right. Yes, sir. All right. Yeah, we're going to do it. But shout out to Juan. Juan actually is the lawn care maintenance out here for the cemetery and he got it looking really nice man so this is the yard that we're going to be tackling for this project um i like how it looks it's a huge home as y'all can see it's a two-story home but it's just being vandalized um, i'm not sure what's going on at all um i would ask that lady ma'am you know anything about this home you know how long it's been abandoned like this almost a year okay you have a good day thank you so she said it's almost been abandoned for about a year now. She hasn't seen anybody over here. So um, we have the gentleman right here, awesome dude. Um, he actually cut the front. So I told him I'm gonna go ahead and head to the back and cut that. So we actually helped each other out with this one. Properties like this, we wanna keep low y'all because there's people that live across the street. There's next door neighbors to this home. So if there's anything in here. When I was walking towards the back of the yard, I saw things scurrying about. I'm not sure what it was. I'm really not sure what was hiding in that grass. These are the, the habitats that dangerous creatures like to reside in. So that is why we're gonna cut this. We're gonna go ahead and tackle it. My homie got the front looking clean. If I gotta clean up a little bit more, we'll do that. I'm not judging his work. 
I just have a certain taste and a certain standard. So y'all know how that goes. So let's head to the back and check it out and see how tall that is. And let's see all the work we have to do. Right, y'all. I think this is what we're going to be working with. So we're going to go ahead and just pop the truck, get our equipment out. We'll seat everything back here. We'll clean this off, and this is a good piece of uh, slab. This is a good slab of concrete in a good area for me to go ahead and put my equipment and set up shop. And we'll go ahead and get right into it. We ain't nothing else more to do. Um, would y'all like to take a tour of the house? Hey man, let's check out the inside. Let's see what we got on the inside of this house. Oh. He didn't do that great of a job, did he? <laughs> I don't mean to critique anybody's work because I'm far from that person. I don't like to do that. Listen, everybody has their own way of working and that's okay. So I'm not a professional, but hey, I know what a good yard looks like in my eyes, and it's not this. Um, we love trash out here. Why would you leave trash out here? I don't know. Hope y'all didn't think we wasn't gonna go inside. Let's go ahead and head on inside the crib. What's that? Shout out the Wawa. Shout out the Wawa. It's getting hot in here, y'all. It's hot up in here. So, it look like a lot of damage been done to this home. Uh, looks like it was on fire at one time. The house burnt down. It's a lot of fire damage in here. I could fall through here at any time now, so I have to be real careful because just the foundation is not solid in here, so. This is what we're dealing with, y'all. A, um, a fire damaged home. This is a beautiful home. I wish it was mine. I really do. I see the potential in here. There's leftover furniture. I can see how they had it set up. Whoever lived here, they had their home set up pretty nice. I don't know if they dealt with a home fire and it caused them to have to move out. But um, if so, that's a sad story because there's a lot of fire damage. Just whatever caught fire in here, it spread everywhere and it just burnt down all the stuff. So I feel like there's a story behind what we're seeing right now. This is not vandalism. This wasn't done by people in the community. This was done by a fire. And then afterwards, people came in and started to damage it more. But I wonder what could have happened here. starts raining before I start I'm not going to want to start but if it starts while I'm cutting I already know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna continue to cut I got the poncho in the trunk <laughs>
How beautiful is that?
Hey, I wish I had the camera down low where a cat just came out of this hole. Like literally, <laughs> it scared the heck out of me. I never seen a cat hide inside of a, a hole on the ground. That's crazy. I hope nothing else is down there. Greens. I had to get the supplies to keep my cover all clean. Um, I, met, I met an elder and her name is Debbie and she could be reaching out to me for help with assistance at cleaning her home. So I gave her my contact information and if she needs me, she can give me a call. But she saw my cover all that always is the conversation starter and I told her what I do and I gave her my contact information. So Miss Debbie, don't forget if you ever need me, <laughs> Just reach out to me. <laughs> if you look on YouTube, clean the city. I'm gonna hold on. I'm gonna put you on here. This is Miss Debbie. I met Miss Debbie today, and at Walgreens, and she said she needed some help at her home with cleaning up. So I'm gonna help her out. I told her just give me a call. I gave her my number and all my contact information, and we're gonna help out our community. Miss Debbie is an elder, and she needs assistance. So this is what it's about. I'm glad she stopped and spoke to me because now I can actually take my time out to go help her out. And that's what the nonprofit is about. So Miss Debbie, my name is AP. Don't forget who I am. And when you need me, you give me a call, okay? Okay, have a good day, okay? Be safe, okay? Okay, look it up tonight, all right? <laughs>
Y'all see the spikes on that thing? Look at the spikes on that branch. What is this? What kind of tree is this? Look at the insects on there. Can y'all see that? Look at the insects on this. Those bugs. That's crazy. like a grapevine. That's what that is, a grapevine, huh? It's a grapevine. Oh, this is a cool grapevine. We ain't gonna cut it up too much. We are gonna just trim it up and leave it, you know, on the top of the fence. I like that, you know? It's a grapevine, y'all. I kinda don't even wanna cut it. We're just gonna shave it off a little bit. We ain't gonna cut it all the way off. We're gonna let it grow. Here. I don't know who it is, but I'm waiting for them to approach me. We'll see if they own the home or if they know anything about this home. Never know. Sir? Sir? Excuse me? You know anything about the homeowner here? What? You know anything about this homeowner? What about it? I mean, do you know anything I'm asking? I'm asking, do you know anything about your neighbor? Like, like, how long has it been abandoned? Do you know at all? Yeah, the roof is all gone. It was a big fire. It's been empty for, I don't know, months and months. Months is, okay. I have a nonprofit organization where I cut overgrown grass for people for free. Oh. So that's why I'm asking. Like, I saw this yard was, like, really out of control, so I wanted to cut it. Is this your yard right here? You want me to cut this after I'm done with this? Really? I'll, I'll come cut your grass. Okay, I'm not going to charge you anything. I just wanted to get your permission before I come over to your yard. Why are you doing that? It's, I have a nonprofit organization. Oh. And, and it's based off of like helping people in the community with overgrown grass. Well, I used to work for my best friend's lawn care business. Oh. And during the pandemic, we saw a lot of tall grass in Fort Pierce, and we wanted to take a day out of the week to help folks out. Well, these are owned by the same guy, but... Oh, he just really don't come do much? They don't come. Every once in a while they come. 
Okay, I'll help you out. As soon as I'm done with this, I'll come cut yours. No problem, man. I'll take care of you, man. That's what it's all about during this pandemic. We just got to try to just do what we can for one another. No, bless you. Thank you, sir. All right. So we got permission from the neighbor. You know, he's elderly, so we're going to go ahead and um, finish up this yard, and then we're going to hop over to the neighbors, and we're going to cut down his yard for him. Um, the dude that was weedy and yesterday weedy it around his yard, but he didn't cut it. I don't know. The, the grass that he weeded, it was pretty much tall, just like this grass, he, but I guess he wasn't up to cutting it with the weed eater. <laughs> Not everybody wants to weed eat a yard like I do. I have fun with it. But um, let's get back into dragging these branches out. So with this yard, we're gonna work a little bit differently. We're gonna put the mower to the test, y'all. You heard it. We're gonna put the mower to the test. So what we're gonna do, once I drag all these branches out to the front, we're gonna weed eat the edges of the fence line and once we're done with the edges of the fence line, we're gonna do a quick skim over the top of the yard and then we're gonna pull the mower out and see if it can really get down with the get down. As you move across the floor, get down on it. Come on in, get down on it. You... Because with the mower, it's really a good tool because it also collects the clippings in the bag. So if we can really just level down this grass and then go over it with the mower and collect majority of it while keeping it low, we might be able to get good results. This grass is really flimsy. It's not the best grass, so it's gonna be kinda of hard to get a, a really good result, but we're gonna try our best. That's all we can do. All right, let's get back to it.
wasn't a small one there was a lot of work we did here we used the weed eater we used the lawnmower we used the loopers we used the broom we used the rake and we used the blower I might be missing something but I think that's all the tools I like to try to utilize all the tools I bring with me if I bring them if not I'm wasting space in my sedan right so I think we did a wonderful job here I like the, I like the after y'all let me know you know you haven't seen it yet but you're getting ready to see it so let me know how you like the, uh, the height of the grass too. I pass over this grass so many times, y'all. Um, I set it up high so that I could just pass over it without the, uh, the lawnmower shutting off. And then after I passed over it high, I lowered the lawnmower and went over it again. But I still don't think the results look as good as it does with the weed eater. That's my personal preference. Y'all think differently, but let me know in the comments how you like how it looks. I don't think I'll ever do that again, to be honest, because if you look at the footage, I passed over this grass too many times, multiple times, back and forth, over and over again. But the main thing is we got the job done. That's the main thing. So I feel good about this. This is no longer a haunted mansion. It's a beautiful mansion with potential. <laughs> uh, it never was haunted in the first place, but, you know, it's right next to the cemetery. So, you know, there's beautiful souls over there. And uh, this thing just is so vandalized, it looks hunted, but it's not really hunted. It's actually a potential home for a potential buyer. If anybody wants it, I actually want it, but I don't have the money to invest in it right now. So I guess I'll miss out on it. But if it's available when I do have the funds, I might just get it. And I might just utilize it for something amazing, like taking care of people that are less fortunate and things like that. We'll see. Like I said earlier in the video, it's all about what y'all do to make this channel bigger than what it is. Cause it's all in y'all hands. It's not in my hands. It's up to y'all to take me on this journey. And um, the bigger this channel gets, the more I'm gonna do for people in the community and worldwide, not just in my community, but things for y'all too, you know? So just keep that in mind, keep supporting me and I'll keep supporting you. That's just how it goes. We take care of each other over here. This is Clean The City Inc. Nonprofit Organization YouTube channel. And I hope y'all enjoyed this job. This was an amazing one. I talked to some amazing people. It always happens. I just get out here and work and I bump into amazing people along the way, okay? Now I'm gonna be revisiting to cut the neighbor's yard. I talked to him and I told him I have a nonprofit organization and I told him I would like to assist him with his yard because it's tall. The man that was weedy in the front yard over here and over here, all he did was the perimeter around the fence. He didn't even go inside and cut the grass, so. I told the neighbor, just hold tight and I'll be back to help him on that. 
I might not even film it. Is the grass high? Yeah, but I just might do it just on my day off, come help them out. That's what I do. I don't film every time I help somebody. I just get one video a week out for y'all and I do other work on the side for people off camera. Y'all think that I'm not going to get something because I told y'all that it didn't come through, but I got some good news. We'll leave it there. Love y'all. See you next time.